Good morning, YouTube. Good morning, everybody. How are you guys doing today? Well, guess what? <laughs> Something happened last night. I'll go ahead and share it with you. Look, this is part of it. Had a little ER. Had to go to the hospital. Had a little ER visit. It was pretty crazy. Um, I was outside and I walked outside to go to my van real fast. And so, I'm sorry, I had to check something. Okay, so anyways, I went outside to go to the van. I tried plugging something in, and I was out there trying to plug in this, um, into the cigarette lighter, um, uh, like a camera thing, trying to charge it, because I don't have a wall adapter yet for it. So, I was out there trying fiddling with that, and I had my feet that were underneath the van, um, underneath the, the van itself while I was in there leaning over to the uh, cigarette thing to plug it in oh my gosh so it was like a total alert because something grabbed my toe and then started biting down on it and then wiggling back and forth and trying to eat it I was like oh my gosh and as soon as I figured that out I was like oh my god there's something biting my foot and then I pulled my feet out real fast and yanked it and I was like crap something was just nibbling on my feet you know and like going at it just eating my, uh, like trying to, like my feet were straight and like a I don't know a, a meal or something but anyway something started going at it I mean I know I do have possum two possums that do come around and I know I had seen recently, like an hour before that happened, I had seen, you know, three, three raccoons or three or four, because she had a baby. So three and four raccoons were already past my house and went, was going around trying to look for the cat food. Because I did put out cat food like six o'clock or something like that. Six o'clock. Um you know that night previously so I think they are trying to go and steal the cat food but anyways yes I wanted to do a, a video and show you guys this is the little hospital thing that they uh, they put on my wrist pretty crazy huh and then they gave me these paperwork because they wanted to give me rabies vaccinations I don't know if you guys can see that rabies vaccinations what you need to know paper and that's that one it's pretty crazy they wanted to give me rabies shots and I'll tell you in a minute what happened I'm just gonna show you these papers and it talks a lot about, like, what are the risks from rabies vaccine, tell your doctor if, what are the serious reactions, and that's what gave me a real red flag, flag right there. How can I learn more, it says, for number seven. They gave me all these papers, just because um, this happened to me at the hospital. Um, they highly recommended it but I had signed that paper where like you decided that you didn't want to get that and cuz I, I thing is it didn't break my skin and I'm already on antibiotics right now um and uh for something else oh uh it had to do with the antibiotics that I'm on right now had to do with like a skin irritation on my skin. So that's that's what this is on right here on my arm. So I'm trying to get that fixed. So the antibiotic is for that. And so I'm already on antibiotics. And then they did give me a tetanus shot. So I did get that. Um, that's what this TD or T, TDAP, TDAP vaccination vaccine. So I did get that. I went ahead and got that. And then I got the antibiotics, and it was not long, um, um, not long ago that um, I ended up having a fracture that had just happened, 
right here if you I want to kind of darken out the page though if my social security or anything's on here let me check nope okay so right here where my finger is at it says right here lumbar transverse process fracture at the top right where my finger is at let's see right here on this line it says lumbar something transference fracture of something so and that one was just a couple months ago that happened I had a little accident on the porch I walked out it was crazy I walked outside and um, it just got done raining and stuff and then when I was stepping down uh, there's three stairs off the porch and oh my gosh I fell. I fell backwards. I slipped because I had flip-floppers on and then I just slipped backwards and I fell. So I had uh, fractured two parts, two fractures, two separate fractures. Um, the lumbar uh, three and four has two fractures there. Um, but what I was told that in my, where my pelvic area was, was a fracture there also. But I'm not really sure. Like, I know there's like fractures that's happening there so I don't know exactly where I'm like totally confused on all this it was just a lot for me because I had gone to the ER that night I had to have the ambulance pick me up and then put me on the gurney and then put me into the ambulance take me to the hospital because I couldn't move after those fractures happened I couldn't move it was terrible and then they had to do the fractures I had the MRI done I had a um MRI done, a CT done, and an x-ray done. I had all three of the things done. Then I had to stay the night in the hospital because then they transferred me into the hospital. So I stayed there for one day. And then after that one day, they had released me. And then they had said patient plan would be um, going to evaluate and treat and referral to orthopedic surgery and then also go to physical therapy. So I'm supposed to go to physical therapy twice a week and then go to orthopedic surgery to keep taking the x-rays. And um, it's just for orthopedics. I don't know what you do at orthopedic surgery. I have no idea. I've never been through this, so I don't know. So yeah, this is a lot of crazy stuff that happened to me. And, and it does say... Okay, so let's get back to that. So, yeah. It's just a lot of crazy. So between the... Follow the slip in the fall outside on the steps outside of my home where I reside at. Um, between that and then now getting bit and going to the ER for this, and then they're giving me the vaccine. So I did get the TD vaccine. I went ahead and accepted that. And but the thing is, the rabies shot is much crazy because they want to give you, they want to give me three shots in the foot of where it happened the site of bite and then um they wanted to give me one in the um I don't want to say hip I want to say um in the uh, lower from the hip like on the leg on the thighs pretty much but lower than the thighs um like and then on the other thigh over here that's another shot um, and then so that would be three, four, five. That's five shots would be all at once. Okay, then I have antibiotics I'm on for my skin irritation that I'm dealing with. Okay, because of my, I don't know if it's because allergies or what, but it was the skin irritation, so we're trying to clear that up. And then, because um, it was on my arms and it's on my legs. So I'm trying to get that fixed. And they says, okay, take these antibiotics and then we're going to get that fixed. Um, cause the arms and the legs, cause I had a, a, like a little reaction, little breakout. So it's on my, up there and then on my arm. So antibiotics, this says it will fix it. So I'm like, okay. And it was on my lower legs from my knee down to where my ankles were at. So I don't know, skin irritation. I went through so many soaps. Let me tell you, it's probably, I don't know. I, I have allergies. So, you know, um, 
I was going to show you, um, I do have a Holmes, it's called Holmes HEPA air filter thing. And um, I do have that. So it's in my room. I didn't want it. It's on the floor, but it's a, it's like a like a mid-sized one. So anyways, yeah, let's so get, let's get back to this. So um they and then I'm supposed to, they wanted me to go back and they wanted me to get um it's it says right here. Let me see if I can find the paper. Um cuz they want you to go back. Okay, here you go. On the rabies vaccine paper, it states right here. Let's see. Um where my finger is at. I'm sorry. I'm trying to do the best I can. Um, right here, right there, is a right there, right there, right there, and right there. She. Okay, so if you guys cannot see it because the camera's bad, I'm sorry. Um, I'll read it for you guys because, like, it's just hard to see. They want three doses, three different doses, one as appropriate. The second dose is seven days after one first dose. Then the third dose is 21 days to 28 days after the first dose. And repeatedly exposed to rabies virus product testing immunity um, should be given... I'm bitten by an animal. I don't know. So it's just a whole lot of mess and it's just too much for me. So like I'm just like giving it a, a little bit. I'm going to see like because they say that you can feel the symptoms within days if um that. So uh, what I'm doing, I'm just going to schedule an appointment with my primary doctor and I'm going to go ahead and sit down with her, discuss things because and then if I decide to go ahead and do the vaccines, I'm going to sit there and wait inside the, the lobby with her, with the doctor, and have them done there in her office. Because um, it does say for the signs of severe reactions, which I'm very sensitive, I'm highly sensitive to medication. They give me um, this one thing, erythromycin, right in the ER. I automatically uh, just passed out. And I fell over off the bed, right onto the floor passed out completely so um and so I live in the country I don't know if you guys know but when you live in the country and you have a house that's out in the country and then let's say you need an emergency and there's an ambulance that comes comes to your house right um it takes 20 to almost 25 minutes for them to, to from the hospital drive all the way out because they got to go on all the highways, they got to go on the country roads, they got to go on the back roads, then they got to get your house. Okay, and this is what really blew my mind and gave me the red flag. Look for anything concerns you, such as signs of severe allergic reaction, very high fever, or behavior changes. Signs of severe reaction include hives. If you take this shot, this is what's going to happen to you. Includes hives, swelling of the face, and throat. So that means your throat completely swells up and a difficulty breathing and a fast heartbeat dizziness and weakness these would start in a few minutes or to a few hours after the vaccination is given so that is like total red flag for me and if I if I lived in town yeah and live close to a hospital then yeah I'd understand you know what I mean I'm like okay go ahead just be safe than sorry go ahead and give me those vaccines but I live in the country and it's a 20 to 35 minute just for the ambulance to get to my house. And if my throat goes ahead and closes and then I just pass out on the floor, it takes seconds before your life is taken. So, um, I'm just like, it's crazy. So I'd rather just wait one day and then go ahead and schedule an appointment to go see my doctor, sit down with her and then do the vaccines with her in the office, sit down for the hour or two, spend time two hours there have it all completed all done and be safe about it then go get the medication and the ER get it done go 30 minutes out my way of where I live 
and then three hours later I just fall over and die and there's no ambulance to come and get me and there's nobody to out here to resuscitate me neither so that's total red flag you guys for me so because I'm so highly allergic to a lot of medications and I can't do that I'm not gonna risk my life anyways um I gotta cut this video short um it is running out, but I just want to let you guys know crazy stuff happened, crazy thing happened with this whole rabies vaccination thing. This is just crazy. See, they show the raccoon, they show the bat, all these things. Anything you can be, it just shows wild animals on here. I'm not sure what I got bit by, if it was a possum or a raccoon or whatever, but something was under my van and it was just crazy so if you like what you saw go ahead please give me a, lot, a thumbs up uh, like this video subscribe and I will see you next video hopefully <laughs> thank you so much have a good day mm, take care and God bless bye